Uh-huh. Okay, here's the beauty of this, gang. You know what? It's been a real weird week. It's time to have a little bit of fun. My guy right here, Martin Truex Jr. I'm talking about Hooked Up Jack. Welcome to Zone Alive, presented by Humminbird. Ain't that right, killer? It is right. Uh-huh. Crushing them already. <laughs> I mean, look at the. <laughs> Ooh, look at that one moving right there. Slow look down, the, slow down. Look everybody, at the build slow down. on this sucker. <laughs> I mean, he's like. <laughs> Come on. You are watching Zona Live. Brought to you by Humminbird. Uh, the show open has happened, hasn't it? Gang, number one, I gotta say, it's been a weird week. Thank you for joining us. We're on Mr. P's Lake. Some of you have seen this lake before, but we've kind of left society with my guy right here, Martin Trix Jr. Tell the folks at home, if you would, um, about the last 24 hours here. Oh, it's been epic. We crushed them yesterday. We fished, for, what, four hours, five hours? Yeah. And probably caught, I don't know, 50, 60, 70. I mean, it's a crazy amount of four, three, four, five pounders, so. Yes. Zone Alive, presented by Humminbird with my guy, Rockstar, NASCAR, racer, driver. Get my crew over here, Steve Bowman, Ron Moore. And I have to apologize, Wes Miller in the back. We got Eric Kafka, the whole crew at JM, Bassmaster.com, and we're going to turn it loose here, gang. We've been out for 45 minutes, and here's the best thing I could say. They biting. <laughs> they are biting, and they are biting, and they're biting. So, I pardon me for being loquacious this morning. Got it in already. Loquacious. <laughs> Let's get it out. Okay. This looks good. It does. Ronnie Moore, real quick while we're starting here. We do have some prize giveaways today, correct? We do indeed, Z. We've got a couple prize packs like you mentioned. Most are from Humminbird because this is presented by Humminbird. Apparel packs from Humminbird. You can win a Lake Master chip of your choosing, whatever region you want, wherever you live. Uh, there'll be Zona prize packs as always, one or two of those at least. And then some TH Marine goodies as well. Tackle uh -huh. Titans and some different things that will help you store baits out on the water. Should be a good day, Z. I think so. We're wearing shorts to start off. I'm sure shorts. shorts at least. Short sleeves. And, and here's the thing this morning, and I'm going to tee Martin up on this. He got Yesterday was the first time he got to ever look at this body of water. And what's amazing is once you find them right now, you find them. Yeah, they're all schooled up, clustered up. I mean, what? You find a spot and catch eight or ten. Yes. I mean, miss a couple, but... Oh! Oh my gosh! I had the safety off on that one. You about poked a hole in the camera lens on that one. Wow. Oh, there he is. Here he comes. Here he comes. I see him. There's, There's a bunch. Two. There's, There's two a bunch. of them. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got some medicine for him. But we had some explosions this morning. We started with top waters. We started with top waters. But yesterday, we threw a thunder cricket almost all day because there was real, real, real bad storms that moved through through Arkansas. And it, it, it it's hard to believe, but there was like one foot waves out here. And what was amazing yesterday is catching them on a thunder cricket, you could not reel it fast enough yesterday. It was like you were fishing for smallmouth. Where'd they go? Probably right off that edge right there. Yeah. There was like three or four of them. But if you've watched, if you watched Zona Show and Zona Live, um, we do one cheat day a year where we fish a private lake and we decided obviously with everything going on and there's one everything going on in the country oh there's a bunch right there look at that one right there 
there is a pile of them in front of us. Um, with with everything that's going on in the country, we had to keep we had to keep this shoot close. Whoa, easy, Zackers. We had to keep this shoot close to Little Rock. That's a nice one. Look at him. Look at him up front. My man. It should be a pal there, Z. Grab yes, him. I got him. Double fist him. I got him. Oh, there's a start right there. <laughs> oh, yes. Is is a uh, couple of chubs. Nice chubs. A couple of Jackie Chublins. <laughs> that is fantastic. That's uh -huh. a nice one. Yeah, nice one. It's right in that little trench there. Uh -huh. Look at the trench right there. See it? Look at that. Oh, yeah. There's the trench right there. Um, but here's what I've known, gang, and I've learned about my friend, MTJ up there. Martin Truex is a race car driver that is a fisherman. Look at this kid up here. <laughs> that couldn't have went any he, more he, perfect. He, he, he drives a car just so he can bass fish. I learned that yesterday real quick. Hey, that old boy came to play. My man. Thank you, buddy. I've been fortunate enough to fish <laughs> with a lot of a lot of folks that like fishing, but they don't get to do it a lot. My vibe is hanging with him. He does it in an embarrassing amount, if you know what I mean. As much as I can. Boy, he got it. They are pretty fish, man. Look at that thing. I mean, he's like two and a half pounder anywhere else. He's four here. Yeah. I mean, he just. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get up there and see if I can grab some of that. Go get you one. Quick, you know what I mean? Oh, there is a big one right there. Uh huh. One just, I, I watched him slide right up. There he is, there he is, there he is. You ready? You ready? Yeah, pitch it at him. You see him? Yeah. Oh, there's two of them. There's two of them. Hey, 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 hey. Look at the size of that one. Ooh. I don't think we should move. They, they were sitting down in here and they just swim up on that flat and go back in. Yeah, they come out of them trenches, I guess. Yeah. There, there he is. Here he comes. Oh, yeah. Got it. <laughs> Sight fishing. Got it. That is great. Let's see if we can do another double here. Yeah, let's do that. And what's been amazing is this spring, it's been mild, but it's also we've had real, real cold nights. And the last, oh, oh man, the last two on. nights have him. been real warm. Like we woke up this morning and it was humid as could be, and you know it's you know it's warm when the uh, the dogwood start blooming. And what's funny is, these fish haven't started spawning yet in this lake. There's not, we, 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 Bowman saw one bed, a starter one, right? Saw one bed. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back up my man with a little Strike King Super Fry right there, okay? That's a little, when they're up cruising, which don't have a lot of wind. A smart person would lock that. Another one swimming around in front of us. Oh man, maybe just lock that in your hand. <laughs> So awesome. I mean, they're swimming all over right here. I see them. Good job, Bubba. Look at that one. Look at that one right there. Look at that one. Yeah, they're swimming all over right here. Yeah, I'm gonna hang right here. The uh, they love that. They love that thunder cricket. They love it as much as I love it. And you know, and the whole reason, Ronnie, you and I talked about this. We just needed to get out and have a little fun today, you know? Yeah. Get some good spirits going. For sure. We've been cooped up. Figured we'd come and hang out with some carnivorous friends, you know? <laughs> well done. <laughs> well done. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, you're going to sit here and probably catch 10 or 15 of these things. That worm, that little worm. 
see we blasted we blasted through here yesterday on high and caught we caught probably a dozen right here but it was gassing and i said ah let's just leave this and it's hard to see right now on eric's camera or wes's camera but there's high spots you could stare at on that 360 and there's trenches cut through them okay <clears throat> and those fish will just run those trenches but not one bed not one I am throwing a spinning rod on this place. What am I doing? What am I doing? So dumb. Okay, I'm done with that for a while. Put that thing down. Yeah, that's not that's not what we're here to do. <laughs> we're we're here to we're here to make Rachel cry. Soon as life starts, picks up a spinner run. <laughs> yeah, surprised it didn't have a tube on it. Possibly the dumbest thing I've ever done in my entire <laughs> life. <taping. laughs> They're biting a frog, and I put it down. <laughs> right. Well, them trenchers are on yeah. the to us. Yeah, going come over. back to us. Going over, over here, see. We just need that, my man. Did he blast it? Yeah, he blasted it. Come off. Every once in a while, they get to, uh -huh. they get to back out of it. Pull the thing down. You need another one? You good? I'll get a couple more out of it. But if you watch Zona Show, um, we, we've come to this little lake several times, Mr. P's Lake. I've been here with Greg Hackney last year, Clark Wendelant, and it is the finest fishing lake they've said it uh, it is the finest bass fishing lake i've ever seen in my entire life for to come and catch numbers of three and a half to eight pounders i mean we had several yesterday that were in the seven and a half to eight range oh my I can't take it. I got to join you. I got to join you. You want some thunder? I got. Some, I need some of that thunder. Okay. Uh huh. And that's right there is how we caught them yesterday working this thing. They like it fast. Mm hmm. There was a bunch back there. And I don't know if we got good enough cell service, but back in that pocket right there, there's another mother load of them sitting. We're gonna keep them honest out here for a little bit. Yeah, Ronnie. Yeah, it's coming. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> what was funny yesterday when we were out here, and you wouldn't, gosh, we did catch a lot yesterday, right? Up in there. Um, yeah, that next high spot up there. Yeah. What was funny yesterday, you'd go through a dry spell like this and be like, wow, we're just not around them. And then it was just an artillery range. Boom, boom, boom. We'll keep them honest out here. 
they're going to be on one of them. I thought we caught them right there. Come on. Say it again. Come on. Talking to the fish. Oh, yeah. We'll get in another little wad of them. But the way we the way we caught them on these thunder crickets yesterday is exactly how I fish. I was telling Martin that when we were driving back to the... Oh. Short strike. I'm gonna lock us down right there, Bowman, real fast. Is how I uh, how I fish a bladed jig for smallmouth. I, I, I shot a show with Brandon Polinick this year, to where you just keep it. Ay ay ay. Good one. Yeah. I shot a show with Polinick up on Lake Ontario. Ah, look at how that bass is built right there. That, would you call it a perfect carnivorous feeding machine? See how he's built, pre-spawner, eating crawdaddies, bluegill. Bye, bye. Um, but what I did there, that's a half ounce, that's a half ounce thunder cricket. 20 pound cigar brazics. Look at my man up there. My man. I mean, up there stoning them with cowboy boots. <laughs> um, and I don't know if it means anything, but we've added. Oh, that's a good one. Is it? Yeah, it's a good one. I'm not scared to catch one right down here in the driver's seat. See what I mean? Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, that's a big one. That's a big one. Uh, good Uncle Z. How about that? Wow. That is a perfect largemouth bass right there. Isn't it? Look oh, yeah. at how that thing's built. Just a toad. Got him. Good job. Good job. It really right? does. Yeah, right? It does. Ooh, look at me. Hey, pretty. Okay. Say we do that again. Yeah. Was he up on that high spot? Yep, right on it. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Gonna be a fun day. I mean, I fished these thunder crickets a lot. I ain't never reeled one as fast as we've been reeling yeah. these things for two days. <laughs> I mean, just... And what helps wide it... Wide open. What helps it... I was sitting down there before he caught that. We're throwing it on 20 pound of Brazex. That 20 pound line lets you keep it real high if you're if you're throwing it on 15 or 17 it you can't it'll 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 bog down and there's too much algae in here right now if it bogs down oh i'm gonna get a bite right here look at that trench uh-huh you get to be able to see pretty good now uh -huh. i can see all the lanes oh he bit it get him get him <laughs> That was like the most. Oh, he come off! Oh gosh! It's right back in there. It's probably like seven of them. It's like a little maze of yeah. underwater roads, you know. You're just cruising around through them. I'm going in. Do it. That's a weird way to fish it though. You'll miss a lot. You're burning it so fast. Like yesterday, we were probably, both of us were seven for 10, I'd say. But I've caught them, I've caught them like this Smalley fishing, and I, and I caught a bunch of taping with Drew Benton last year, 
riding it real high like that and smoking it. But it was funny, like yesterday, you'd, you'd slow it down and it would totally, you'd never, you, you wouldn't even get a bite. Okay, Bowman, I'm gonna come back around that way, dog. I'm gonna I'm I'm sneak slip around this way to stay off the top of them. Just wanna feel out if they're moving or. Do you have one? Yeah. Martin, I know but, we did not get bit on that island yesterday. We've got to shorten me up oh, a yeah. bit. We've got to need a new one. Yeah, I get it. Right under your foot. Z? Yes, sir. You cool if we fire some questions? Hey, Ronnie. Drop the clutch, bro. Drop the clutch. Pop the okay, clutch. Okay, first Drop one. The hammer. Pop it. Wanted to talk about um, some northern friends, some guys up in your neck of the woods asking, can you explain the migration of bass from an ice out to where do they rush to the bank? That that time is probably pretty quick up there. Oh, by my house. Yeah. You know what's weird is is generally generally this is no joke. Generally, what I try to do is all I do is fo I, I follow the migration of bluegill. Okay. If you if you follow the migration of bluegill, what for the most part, when we lose ice, bluegill are in whatever live grass is left, which is generally eight to 20 feet of water. But what was funny was we had a mild winter, my man, we had a real mild winter, and I posted a couple pics last week of really, really big ones up north, and a lot of our grass never died, you know what I mean? A lot of our grass never died, and I caught them last week with a buddy in one to three foot of water, which is, that's unheard of in, in Michigan. But the, oh my gosh, just slack lined it like three feet. I love it. Um, let, there he is. There he look is. at here, look at here. I'm talking about dadgum Arkansas, Mr. P stood. Um, a lot of our grass stayed alive because it was a mild winter. We only had ice for like a week. And it was funny, like last week I was, I was fishing, I was fishing where they should have been, eight to 15 feet, catch, and I was catching just enough to trick me. And I was answering an email to JM Associates in Blue and Shallow. Oh gosh, <laughs> that's fun. Right in this hole, man. Yeah. And, uh, I blew up shallow and I caught like a five pounder, one just under five pounds. And it was staggering how many yearling bluegill were up there. Here, here's the best way to put it to somebody up north. Stare at where the panfish are right now. Wherever the pan fishermen are, that's where the bass are. That one was from Travis Mag. M A A G from oh, yeah. your from Zona's Facebook. T Mag. I've got a, a T Mag, yeah, T Mag. This one's kind of a, a dual question for both of y'all from John Holtz asking um, both Z hey, and John Holtz is a friend of the program. He is a friend yeah, of the program. Is. All programs bass and ass related. Uh, for Z and Truex, how much does a daily routine play in your lives? How much uh, with your serious schedules, prep time, how much does a chain and change in routine throw y'all off with the norm? I'll let Martin answer oh, that. Oh man. Right throws me off a lot you know we have like a when the season starts really we have like a pretty much a schedule that we keep i mean it's we, it's every week it's all the same you know you do the same thing monday tuesday wednesday thursday usually and uh you know it depends you throw in a fishing trip here and there or some play time but for the most part it's it's set schedule i know what i'm doing in three months from now on a monday and on a thursday and on a friday and a saturday and a sunday so it's crazy times like we got now it's weird it's just weird it just doesn't feel right like it feels like i'm doing something wrong like i'm skipping school today you know but uh you are yeah <laughs> i mean yeah i am i guess but it's like you know eventually you get back to normal and get back to doing our normal stuff but it definitely throws you off especially the first you know week of not doing things you normally do 
I, uh, everything's just odd. You know, we, we're, 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 we're all chomping at the bit to, to cover the, the elite series right now. And we came off a, you know, a, a really awesome classic at Gunnersville. And then you want to, you want to keep the, keep the ball rolling and, and, and get stuff done, especially, I mean, this is the time to catch them to, to, to bass fish from, Texas to Tennessee and Alabama. I mean, this is when the the big ones are biting, and it's um, <coughs> smoked it. Yeah, that one bit it really good. It, the 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 hard part is that's a big one. The, the, oh, you about jumped in the boat. Why not? The the hard part is when your schedule is is a certain thing and then and, and everybody watching this is the same way right now you're you're <laughs> you equate it to when these guys get a, a a rain delay and you're like you know you want to you want to go and you just can't right now that's kind of why we've hit in the middle of nowhere just to play hooky to to you know to keep our sanity we're playing hooky and we're kind of not at the same time. Exactly. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure if I would have stayed at home for a few more days, the scorpion woman, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice time out for the whole family right now. We never got bit there yesterday, Martin. That's a good sign. Maybe they'll be stacked. I mean, my man's a stick. <laughs> I mean, if we ever have a bass brawl on Bassmaster.com this year, I got myself a partner. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> All right. You can see the high spot, right? My man. Never got a bite out here. No. Wow. They're here today, brother. Uh-huh. This is kind of a tough lake to do questions on because y'all just... <laughs> it's hard to answer questions much. when you're jacking fish. That's a fine <clears throat> problem, Ron. That Moore. is a fine problem. I mean, they're all just... Beautiful. Just Jackie Chublins. <laughs> Jackie Chublin. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Z, you can answer this one as well, Sir? but this one, this one specifically for Truex. Okay. Uh, fan at home, Chris Chris Shields wants to know. Curious, what song you sing in your head when you're out there racing and everything's just going well, running good times, just running consistent race. What song gets in your head when you're in the zone? Okay. Um, song. I don't really think of songs when I'm racing. I'll be quite honest with you. You go numb, don't you? <laughs> I mean, I'm like the autopilot. I'm just like, oh, hell yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody's going to win. <laughs> this is a good day. I'm doing good. Everything's rolling. And you're just amped up, jacked up, trying to stay focused. I mean, you're really not, at least for me, I mean, I'm not thinking of music at all. I'm thinking of how do I keep it going. There's not a whole lot of times in a race car when you do, like, something that a normal person would do <laughs> like, think of a great driving song or something but uh it's like laser focus i guess you'd call it a little different going 160 compared to just 60 on the highway. yeah i mean i don't know if that really answers the question but i just i don't really ever think of music when i'm in the car i think of, so what do you listen to think, when you're going 60 yeah like what do you yeah, do so what's you your, what's your you stuff when, yeah i mean yeah. i'm a big country music fan i'll be honest i'll be darned <laughs> I love, I mean, I like rock and roll, too. I like a little bit of everything. But on the bank. Uh -uh. On the bank, son. Yes, and sir. I'm a good one. A stud. <laughs> Ooh, that is a good one. Ooh. Oh, my. That's she's, the shallowest we've caught one. She's wanting to spawn there, yeah. Z. Hey, let's hang on to that one. Hey, let's later. hang on to that one for a yes, picture. Sir. For the social media kids. Yeah. That's a nice one. Yeah, man. We might have to run this bank a little bit yeah. here. Again, never got a bite yesterday there. There. Coming back under your feet there, buddy. You're good. Fly, you can fly. Fly. 
<laughs> fly, yeah. eagles fly. Bringing it. Bringing the heat. Do you sing to yourself when you start catching them, Z? Do I? Absolutely. No, what do you I'm sing? Not doing what do you sing? Today. I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. <laughs> far from. <laughs> yeah. He was right there. Yeah. We ride our own too. Yeah. I'm, yeah. A, I'm a loser by back. <laughs> <laughs> Z from Sir. Brent Shamanek said, what dictates the size weight you use? What, dicta what dictates the size weight you use when flipping vegetation early in the spring compared to the summer? Man, that's a weird, that's a, that's a, that, there's a real fine line with that. And I know a bunch of my Florida buddies will laugh at this, but what's funny is, you know, two, two three, four weeks ago, in the spring, when, when, when you're constantly dealing with cold fronts over and over and over, those fish will bury up in mats. You know, I, I really thought there was going to be, Hunter Shryock was the one that probably made, there's a big one right there, see him? Oh yeah. The, Hunter Shryock probably made it work the best, but when there's cold fronts going in and out and in and out, you, you, uh, you'll you catch them punching a real big weight, but the minute the minute that they get up and they're in holes and in little openings, we kind of saw it yesterday here, is you instantly go to a lighter weight. When they get up there and they're wanting to spawn, generally a quarter, a five sixteenths is about as, as heavy as I want to go. Um, and I know it sounds nuts, but in the, in the early spring, in the early spring, punch in real 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 heavy and then when they start to snoop when you see them cruising that's when you're going to want to go light er we got one more before we continue the fishing action but rob k rob k from twitter wanted to know martin would you rather reel in a seven pounder or reel in kyle bush down a straightaway uh <laughs> <laughs> Which and one brings you more? I talked about that earlier this morning. <laughs> Which one so my, my perfect, my perfect world is to uh, reel them in and beat all their butts on Sunday and go fishing on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I like that the non-committal or the double committal. He's he committed to both of those. Yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> I love them both. I'll say that. How can you not? Similarities to fishing and racing. <sighs> we got a question from Camera Boat. Steve Bowman said, "Are there yeah. any similarities between fishing and racing?" I mean, I think there's some. You know, anything you're doing like that changes a lot. Subtleties. You know, like you're fishing an area. They you're catching them one day on something. Next day they're gone. They move. You got to change baits. This or that. I mean, racing's kind of the same way that, you know, the, the weather changes and you can be at the same track and your car completely handles different. So like the constant changes and being able to adapt, change and adapt to be really good at it is very similar in my opinion. I mean, I think from that standpoint, yeah, I mean, it's a lot, lot of similarities. Do you ever get scared? No. Never? No. I'm horrified when one hits my frog. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> if I got scared, I'd quit. My man, we gonna get bit on these high spots. Hold them jack with awesome. me here. Yep. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, he got me right there. Oh, I seen that coming. You got him? I got him. Bowman, I'm a lockdown. Yeah. Uh huh. Does he make the squad? <sighs> well, he's close, but I don't think I don't think he's gonna do it. I'm just gonna get that high spot right there, Bowman. Look at his tail. Starting. Something been nipping on him. Yeah. See the top of his tail? Got a little. Got a little missing patch there. I'm forcing the frog. I gotta put it down. I gotta put it down. He will feed me my lunch with that cricket. 
<laughs> so great. I just love these damn things, man. It's awesome, isn't it? I love this bait. It was so funny. We came out here yesterday. We came out here, and you have, and I always say this, whether you're on a, on a, a lake that's private like this or public, you come out with a preconceived notion of how you're going to catch, oh my gosh, look at my hands. <laughs> <laughs> um, you have a preconceived notion of how you're going to catch them, but there's always, there's always like one major, major technique that works better than another. Wow. Yeah. Bing Hello. Bong. Peekaboo. And I mean, this, we, it's <laughs> this is just so silly, man. <laughs> I think that's bigger than the last one, Z. All my buddies from Whoville right now, they were texting us. We were texting pictures. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Look at that thing. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Ooh. Look at how that thing's built. Yeah, let's put him, huh? we'll, we'll, put him in there with yeah. the gang. We'll let him just join the party real quick. <laughs> Get all that spilled. <laughs> what do you call him? Dang gone stud. Yeah, that's a daggum Southeast Arkansas Mr. P Lake stud. Um, <laughs> but if you look, if you if you look at yeah, we're just keep hanging on to those for pictures. We'll let them go later. Um, but if you look at the like the bait assortment that we've got, it's predominantly. Swimming worms, um, hack attack swim jigs, rage swimmers, but by far and away, by far and away, the uh, the thunder cricket has outshined everything. But you get kind of sucked in when you throw a frog out and get a blow up, and you're like, okay, I'm in. Yeah. Okay. All right. Straight ahead there, big guy. Looks like a nice one. <laughs> oh, no. I know this is killing little Ron Moore because this is his favorite, favorite way to catch bass. He's the bladed jig kid. I think that's what his handle is. Hashtag <laughs> bladed jig kid online. All the chat rooms. I love is that who you are on the chat rooms? On yeah. the forums, on yeah. the back? So that's, that makes sense why when, when you see those chat rooms that say we love Ronnie Moore on Bass Live, it's from the Chatterbait Kid, which is still me. I'm just, I'm the only one who's rooting for myself online, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Nice little, nice little pole right there in it. We got nicked right there yesterday. I'm torn right now, Bowman. Uh huh. I mean, we know where a pile of them are sitting. second but I'm stunned with I'm stunned with the lack of fish that have got up to spawn on, on this little lake my buddy Combs and Castledine are in East Texas mauling them on beds and we've not seen one on a bed that we could say is locked on and this isn't that far away you didn't <clears throat> couldn't catch up to him. I caught up. To, oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. Yep. Uh-huh. Catching. Robbed you. Yep. So what I got going here. <clears throat> this boat is completely trashed already. Totally trashed. 
what Let's I got not jinx that part of it. I hate a wet boat. <coughs> Is a half ounce Thunder Cricket with a Rage Minnow. And I'm just going to keep that out, EK. And all I've been doing, my man. Come on. He didn't strip me, but I tried to. All I've been doing is I usually use a really slow reel, Daiwa Tatula SV, and but as, as much as they want to burn, and I actually, last night before we quit, I went to a high speed. I went to an 8.3 to 1. And the only reason I put that orange on is to just give it a little bit of a look of a bluegill, or a goldfish for that matter. Um, but the 3 eighths, what happens is when you're burning it like we're burning it, <coughs> Martin tied a 3 eighths ounce on yesterday, and what en ends up happening is that 3 eighths will blow out too much. go, huh? There you Got is. him. That fish bit my 360. I probably shouldn't swing that. <laughs> That's a good way to short, short string a rod. <laughs> You see that? You see those cuts? That's where he bulldozed in here. You could see it. There's grass, there's algae. Those lanes are where we've caught every fish this morning almost. Dude, I was jamming that one. I mean, moving it. I've seen it. I got a feeling. Yeah, I threw through there three times. Just need to put a little orange on my junk. You know what I mean? I do. Look how this one's built. I mean, true <laughs> chub. <laughs> that bass. That fish is 16, not even. That fish is 16 inches and weighs four and a quarter. I mean, humming it. Humming it. Humming it. They uh, like orange in here for some reason, so we're fancying them up a little. You can go home with orange hands and pants. I mean, the boat is, half the boat is, the boat's a week old, it's already. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Oh yeah, that's pretty. You're gonna get bed. Come on. Get you that spinning rod again. I did. So incredibly dumb, too. Cannot do it. <laughs> Cannot do it. Come the ducks. I need a bite. I'm, I'm on a cold streak oh. here. I've made like 10 casts without a bite. It just doesn't feel right. Yesterday we went, there was one, at one time, I think we went at nine minutes, 11 minutes without a bite. We were like, wow. Yeah. If you remember yesterday, that, that hump right in front of that brush pile, yeah. there was a pile of them. Yeah. When we first got out. Yeah, this is up here where it was real shallow. Yeah. yeah. Like we watched some of them shark it. Yeah. I ain't feeling it here. 
starting to get in that patchy. Yeah, real algae stuff. Yeah. Hey, Bowman, I'm going to crank it on high and spin. Let's hit the insides of them on our way through. Dude, we've only been fishing for 47 minutes. Serious? <laughs> it's about average of a fish per two minutes, maybe. Pretty Minute strong. and a half. Pretty strong. They're here somewhere. They're here somewhere. Yeah. If you remember, though, where that birdhouse is, we knocked them pretty good right there. I'm gonna kick it on high real quick, EK. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Old Cricket looks like he's been through a blender. Yeah. He's hurt. I'm gonna test our I'm gonna test our ground, EK. I'm gonna test Ooh, there's a big one. I'm gonna I'm gonna test our uh how close I can get to that mouth. Okay. And then I'm gonna cut out to the left on that high spot. That high spot had a pile of them. My man. Whoa. I'm locking down, Bowman. Sitting right next to that concrete job. I there. was watching you and I had one pull the rod out of my hand. Oh, there he was. They are biting, folks. There he is right there. Get him. I'm going to come on this oh, side. That's a good here. one. It is a good one. Goodness gracious, about ripped a rod out of my hand. Chubbs. Yes, yes, this is, this is oh, fun. Oh my gosh, it's a big one. <laughs> it's a big one. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Wow. I mean, he I literally about took the rod from me. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So cool. How about it? How about it over there, huh? Does he make the squadron? Man, he's close. He's good. Yeah, I'd say he does. We'll just uh, hang on to him for a couple of picks. I mean, he annihilated that thing. Mm-hmm. Dude, we had just fish 10 yards away from where we caught those. I'm going to let Martin school those up there. I'm going to do a little. It's just, yeah. All right. I mean, move 10, move 15 feet, catch two, catch two back to backs, doubles. Go right back in that hole there, see what happens. Ronnie, I want to thank everybody for joining us so far today here on Zone Alive. Presented by Humminbird. There it is. Uh-huh. Look at my guy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and it's another big one. Not that there's any small ones. Bring it. Wow. Wow. Come on now. Come I on. I can't get my hand around Come on back. now. <laughs> I couldn't get my hands. Gosh. Wow. I think there's a lot of them right there. Wow. <laughs> wow. Dude, yeah. I mean. Look at that. Why am I rigging up a spinning rod? What well, a loser. 
D. Wayne in Alabama. Not happy with Zona right now. What are you doing? Let me show you one little gig here real quick. You ready? This is a killer, killer, killer springtime bait. God. It's a little Michigan love. Uh, I got a Stray King Super Fry. And whenever you see a cruiser, okay, three-aught trocar offset round bend worm hook with a little screw lock, 16th ounce weight. This is one of the deadliest rigs. Back when I fished a lot of derbs, that right there, when you see cruisers, there's some people in Michigan laughing right now. That is like the deadliest bass cruising bait in the spring I've ever used. I'm just not gonna throw it right now. <laughs> <laughs> You got to feel that thunder. Yes. I'd rather throw 20 pound and rip. Here he goes again. I just saw one rip, just curl around <laughs> it. Just can't stand it, can you? Got him. Got him. They just can't resist that little no. worm, can they? No, I don't know how many you catch on it if you did it all day. Oh man. I got a world of problem right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. Little guy. <sighs> it was fun. It was fun. Martin, I'm gonna get you where you could hit that tip. Right on. Yes, sir. I just don't wanna, I don't wanna jack up this outer bar. That's a fish. Five, four, three, two. <laughs> EK, I know I'm testing our limits on service in this corner, but I'm gonna go as far as I can. Okay. Right, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Been a good morning. Good morning. It's been a good morning. Yes, sir. Yeah, you're fine. Absolutely. Ronnie, I really don't think it matters in this lake. You could be wherever you want. <laughs>a start right there <laughs> oh, yes. that old boy came to play my man yeah let's do that and it was humid as could be and you know it's you know it's warm when i shot a show with polemic up on lake ontario ah, is it i'm not scared to catch one right down here in the driver's seat uh, how about that? Oh gosh, that's fun. Hey, let's hang on to that one till later. Yes, sir. For the social media kids, that's a nice one. Yeah, man. True chub. That bass. Yes, this is this is fun. Oh my gosh, that's a big one. Oh my gosh. That's a 
done. Uh huh. Look at that thing! Oh my god! Look at how that thing's built! Zona Live is brought to you by Graham. Dialogue. Mercury. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela. And by Strike King. When your hands are busy, your mind gets right. When your hands are busy, you can't point fingers and complain that life isn't fair. When your hands are busy, you're serving your family, your friends, and your community. When your hands are busy, you show everyone what you're capable of. The all new Ram 1500, Motor Trends 2019 Truck of the Year. At Mercury, there are no limits to the lengths we'll go to make sure you have no limits either. Unlimited adrenaline. Unlimited fun. Unlimited weekend. Except maybe having to go home eventually. Introducing the all-new V8 Mercury Pro Access. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. There's no feeling like it. When you've prepped the gear, done the research, found the spot, nailed the presentation, and now there's only one thing left to do. It's hook set season. So gear up and start your season at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. The brand new Tatula line of bass rods are finely crafted using state-of-the-art components. Natural cork handles provide timeless functionality combined with a sure grip. Reduced weight blanks allowing for a more precision load-up. And tangle-free Fuji Foss light guides for long, accurate casts. If you're looking for a professional grade designed with a specific purpose in mind, take a look at the Tatula line of bass rods, where we built one just for the task. Blue Water by TH Marine. Offering LED lighting solutions for your boat, trailer, truck, ATV, and so much more. Engineered and built to be rugged with waterproof and submersible options. Designed for easy installation, Blue Water is available in a variety of colors and styles. All backed by a limited lifetime warranty. Blue Water by TH Marine. They sleep over there, head this way to the job site, and the big ones take their lunch break right about now. The Solix series, with our most powerful innovations from Mega Imaging Plus to CrossTouch to AutoChart Live on our largest screen ever. Fish might call it an invasion of privacy. You'll call it a busy day for your live well. Only from Hummingbird. 
with a geometric triangular point to penetrate faster and easier. Oh my goodness. Surgically sharpened, resulting in a hook that penetrates twice as fast and dramatically improves strike to hook up ratios. Big it. Made in the USA. Get open the most extraordinary fish hook ever made. Trocar. Hi, I'm Mark Zona. <laughs> what? I'm Mark Zona. Well, I need a performance braid for finesse presentations. And I need a performance braid for power fishing. Seaguar Smackdown High Viz Flash Green lets me see line movement for those subtle bites. Smackdown Low Viz Stealth Gray blends in to make my presentations more natural. Both are eight strands in a perfectly round weave. And for me, it's the longest casting and quietest braid on the planet. Enter to go fishing with me. Visit Seaguar.com slash Smackdown. Fun time, good times, your time. There is nothing better than a day on the water. That is, until the unexpected happens. Nothing sinks a good time faster than a dead battery. Nothing turns a carefree morning into a stressful afternoon like an overheated engine. Why let your good day turn into a bad day when you can count on Boat US? With the nation's largest network of towboat US towers, we're here to assist you 24 hours a day. Boat US makes sure all your boating time is a great time. You are watching Zona Live. Brought to you by Humminbird. I got him. Oh, there's a start right there. <laughs> oh, yes. That old boy came to play. My man. Yeah, let's do that. And it was humid as could be, and you know it's you know it's warm when. I shot a show with Polinick up on Lake Ontario. Ah, is it? I'm not scared to catch one right down here in the driver's seat. Uh, how about that? Oh gosh, that's fun. Hey, let's hang on to that one till later. Yes, sir. For the social media kids, that's a nice one. Yeah, man. True chub that fast yes this is this is fun oh my gosh that's a big one. Oh my gosh that's a good one uh-huh look at that thing oh my god look at how that thing's built we're live. yes we are live on Live presented by Humminbird, my guy, Martin Truex Jr. If you're just joining us, gang, uh, we are on my buddy buddy's lake, Mr. P's Lake, kind of hiding in the middle of nowhere down here in Arkansas, right down from the JM Studios. Uh, number one, thank you for joining us. I know it's kind of crazy. My man, my man, way to come back from break. That's how you open the show, <laughs> that's boy. How you open, that's how you come back from a commercial. Um. Get the spinning rod out of my hand. Uh, way to come back from break. Huh? <laughs> Give me some. It has been an unbelievable morning. We're giving prizes away. Humminbird clothing pack, a Lake Master chip, TH Marine tackle tight. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna, oh, there was a big and right. There is a pile of them right through here. Um, I'm going to throw in a bun bunch of baits. We're catching them on today. I'm going to throw in a bunch of Thunder Crickets, a bunch of Zona Trocar multi-packs. I can see them. He's looking at it. He's looking at it. He ain't buying what he's right there.
yeah, I'll throw in a bunch of uh, Thunder Crickets, some Trocar multi-packs. I think we're doing, are, are we doing a Zona, Zona Show clothing pack from Karen, Ronnie? That fish is so loquacious. <clears throat> Z, we're it. giving away as much as you want to give away, <laughs> but basically, yes, you know, apparel from Humminbird, apparel yes. from Zona, baits from uh, what you guys are using today, the TH Marine Tackle Titan, which is a great way, mount it to your boat, hang your baits so they're not just laying on the floorboard like Zona's messy boat right now, because it's uh, going nuts, and uh, also the Lake Master Chip, great for, what is it, like five, six different regions you yes. can choose from? whoever wins it can pick their region. <sighs> Came back for it. Uh-uh. Yes, he did. I mean, you are possessed. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. No. Oh, no, my God. That was a big no. one. No. Come on, man. Oh, I just got crushed. Probably the same fish. You hit me twice. Golly. You know what? For as hard as the last few weeks are going to have been, we're going to give away a pile, Ronnie. There is another one right there. Hell, I can throw in some stuff what wait what was that i can throw in some uh, hat t-shirt maybe heck yeah card. how about some hot passes to me and ronnie for this summer you know <laughs> what i mean boy you going to michigan <laughs> why why wouldn't i can't catch him can't catch him goodness look gracious. at that one huh i mean he got it he <laughs> you can't see it you can't even see it and that's the same fish i just lost i'm telling oh my you gosh. i'm telling you that's a big one. You can't even see it. Oh my gosh. Come on over here. Look how he's got it. I mean, wanted it. <laughs> I mean, they're just tanks. Got her down there. Good golly. I want to move, but I don't want to move from here. But look at Such a look perfect at. bass. Huh? Fish is 18 inches, five and a he's quarter. He's six pounder, I bet you. Oh my gosh. I'm getting bit. Every I'm talking. He's probably six pounds with a three-pound mouth. <laughs> a dang gone stud! <laughs> you got me spinning right there's now. There's a few here, bud. Yeah, there hey, is. there's a few here. There really is. I think I'm just gonna keep the poles down for a minute. Let one bite that six-aught truck what? car. Uh huh. Got a worm on there? Uh huh. They just want stuff moving as fast as you can reel. They want it moving. Yeah. Mean. Yes. Yes. There is a pile in the mouth of this canal. That's weird. They were biting that swimming worm before we went live this morning. Got it. Dropped it. Got it. Hit him. Oh, gosh. That was bad. That was driver error. So was it a turn right when you were supposed to turn I, left? I, I, I highly turned right right there. Right into the wall. <laughs> Crash. Didn't quite get the clutch. Yeah. Got it. I got him. <laughs> I mean, another just, <laughs> geez, Louise. I got problems. Look how that fish is built. Would you look at this thing? Look how weird this thing looks. You think he's been eating this spring? Look at that bass. <laughs> look at that thing. <laughs> got it. I mean, we have fallen upon the mother load. Huh? huh? We have fallen upon the mother load. Good grief. Look at that! That's not even normal! It's not normal. It's freak. Freakishly. Wow. <sighs> Unbelievable. I think they just keep coming up on this flat that we're fishing. Catch Get those one. Down for a Look at Bowman answering emails. <laughs> My man. Work 
I was reeling it, and the chico was like this. Pink. <laughs> I did. I, I, I had the safety off on that one, EK. Yeah, you, you dotted his eyes. He came up a little cross-eyed. Yeah. It's not as fun as winding as fast as you can wind. Okay. I'm gonna push the envelope, try to get us to our point where we caught them two giants yesterday. There's another, Martin, there's another high spot way up in there. You see it? Yeah, you think we can get to it? Yeah. I don't know, dude. There is a bunch, like right here. Yeah. Just got to make them bite. Oh. There's one. I'm going to go over you. Go ahead. I'm halfway back already. He's That, that high spot's right yep. there. No, I'm not pulled. There's one right there, swimming. Big and Yeah. Big and I'll give you a hundred bucks if he bites it. <laughs> He's looking at it. That would have been funny, right? Yeah. Twitching the... The bad thing is I, I got to hit the trolling motor because I was like, he will bite it. <laughs> <laughs> There's one on the birdhouse, eh? I would say. Now we caught a pile of them from here to that stake. He's got it. Get him. Oh. That's a fun bite. That is a fun deal. Let me show everybody this gig right here. This is a cool little springtime deal. Basically, it's an oversized rig like I was throwing at Super Fry. It's a big cutter worm. We shot a, shot a whole show on this last time we were here. Big cutter worm, but same thing. I got a 6 hot Pro V worm hook, Trocar worm hook where it's got that bend at the bottom. That bend to me is like the best thing for a worm hook. It's like an old school O'Shaughnessy hook. When you stab one, you pretty much got them. But what's interesting about a swimming worm is it seems like this time of year, March and April is like the best time of year to throw a swimming worm. This stuff is hurting. And you basically just throw it out. Question yes. From Question from, yeah, yeah, yeah. Karen Zona. <laughs> hey, it's been a rough day. <laughs> I mean, th th there's a lot of shrapnel going on today. Can't catch him. Can't catch him. You Can't did. Him. You caught him. Yeah. I mean, that fish is hot as fire. You done? You done? I did tell Martin that that I that this lake I I, I will tinkle myself. <laughs> this, this lake has a tendency to do that. Z, I'm gonna fire some, sir. I'm gonna fire some questions off. Um, had a couple. Somebody wanted to know. Martin, what's your biggest bass you've ever caught? I know we go over it as well uh -huh. as Lee, but you can you can give yours as well. My man. Oh, oh come on. That fish was going 100 miles 100 an hour. 100 miles an hour. Uh, biggest bass I've caught is a 9.8. Uh-huh. And uh, it was on Spook, top water. Really? Yeah, it was uh, one, of our, one of our little holes uh, near Darlington Raceway. It was like August. A thousand degrees. No. Four in the afternoon, middle of the lake. Just You're kidding me. Boof. Nine eight. 
I don't know if there's a way to load the picture, but I can send it to you if you wanted to see it. That was my biggest. That's a big one. It was uh, two years ago. I mean, my cricket is just <laughs> almost out of juice here. It's, it is. We just, need to give that cricket to is, one of the viewers. Look, it is just deathly looking. It's got barely any of the skirt left. Paint's all gone. And they're still just crushing it. Crushing it. Z, yes, sir. Uh, David wants to know on your Facebook page, if you were a part of Truex's nine, number 19 team, <laughs> Crew chief. What would you do? <laughs> Crew chief. 100%. I, I don't know if you've watched this show, but I'm going to tell you something. Fire and ice. You know what I mean? I mean, this is the real shake and bake right here in this in this rig. <laughs> so, Martin, we uh, we know that you like throwing a spook. That's your favorite bait to throw, uh, especially yeah. for topwaters. But Sean wants to know, are you a power fisherman at heart, or do you like to go finesse oh, I've watched when you're that. out there just on a, on a lake, maybe Lake Norman, Lake, lake Wiley? I don't finesse them unless I have to. I mean, hit the side of the boat. <laughs> I mean, I would rather throw... I'm going to put the poles down. Blade of jig, crankbait. Good God. I do love to catch them on a big jig, though, like a structure jig, if they're on it. My man. I got a big one. Do you really? Yeah, I got a big one. Big Sally. <laughs> yes, you do. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, I'd like, to, I'd like to catch them. You know what I mean? Like, I'll catch them. Whatever I got to do to catch them is fine, but I'd prefer... Jacking him with 20 pound line, you know? You've seen how much he's, he's grabbed that spinning rod, right? <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. saying. <laughs> yeah. I asked that question because you guys are catching him power fishing and Z's still trying to pick up the finesse, but uh, you know, I just, that's yeah. just a poke at Z a little bit. Uh, Z, uh, Kevin I mean, wants don't to, oh. you ever! <laughs> this is just silly, <laughs> man. Get up in here. Quick release. But I'll tell you what's really cool. Seriously, I called him. You know, everything's going on and it sucks and, and, and everybody's a little confused. And I called, he was tarpon fishing when, when their stuff got postponed. I said, Martin, I said, you want to go to the middle of nowhere? I had called Mr. P who owns the lake. We all just kind of wanted to get away and do something fun and maybe make somebody laugh and watch this. And I, he said, well, where do you want to go? I said, I got a lake that we've taped some shows on. And he goes, is it that lake you taped with Hackney on? I said, it is. He goes, yeah, let me, let me uh, check what day I can get there. <laughs> yeah, so we've been talking about doing this for how long? Four, three, four years? Yeah. Five years? No doubt. And talking about doing a show and uh, just can never put the pieces yeah. together. You know, he's going one direction, I'm going the other. So I'm a big fan of his show. I love it. And uh, it's cool to finally get on here and hang out. Just absolutely destroy Whoa. some fish like that. I mean, you see how I paused that bait right there? <laughs> what a day. What a day. I hope all my fishing buddies are tuning in. Right? I mean, I probably didn't do a great job of telling them all, but hopefully they all seen it on Instagram or Twitter or somewhere. They, they're biting. Because they're going to be... Uh, yeah. I got a couple buddies that might be a little jealous today. Best lake on earth. We're doing a lot of more, lot more zone of lives. You know, we're, we're gonna, we're doing a, a, a bunch of smallmouth ones. This is our last, this is our last hurrah for, for, for private lakes for the year. We only do one a year. But I've had a few, Get it. oh my gosh. He was way out off that yeah. point. I mean, totally slacklined it too. Get out there now. I'm a mess. Oh, heck to, oh no. Whatever's under that pole. Is it? Whatever's on that pole there. Z, since Rush. you guys are wearing out the Thunder Cricket, yeah. what is your favorite trailer for it and how do you select if you do change it up some view, Bro, uh, viewer i'll get his name in a second seriously i for uh, on a thunder cricket i throw a rage minnow trailer period that's all i throw it's all i throw uh, whether i'm small mouth or or large mouth to me that that blade minnow just does what it's supposed to do 
It's subtle. It has a little bit of action. Not a ton. It's not overpowering. You caught that fish out of that treetop right it. there. I didn't know there was a top there. Coming out, coming out, coming out. That one was from Eric Anderson, by the way, the Bassmasters Facebook. But, you know, in all honesty, when you're throwing a bladed jig, okay, like Brett Height, he's the, the master at this, and I've picked his brain, and, and, you know, he just, he's one of the dudes with this. But I'm, I'm, if you watch Zona's show, I'm addicted to it. But it's a whole system. I think 20-pound line is critical. It, I said that earlier, but the whole rod is, is important. Um, I, I'm using a Daiwa bladed jig, bladed jig rod. And if you look at that rod bow right, ooh, nice one. I'm talking about melon head. That rod is almost like a, a, a medium heavy action cranking rod. Like it's something you'd use for like a, a real big square bell. And it's real parabolic. If you use a heavy action rod, you'll pull it away from too many. I mean, there's a good one right there. It ain't a bad one. But generally, generally, I like throwing it on a on a really slow reel, but not today. Not what we saw out here the last couple days. No, sir. Ripping it. Martin, we have a question for you. We have a question for you, Martin. Yeah. Uh, now I don't want to scare you now, but what are you most afraid of? Sharks, clowns, or eggs? And we had a viewer, Rick <laughs> yeah. from uh, Joe Gibbs Racing asked that one. Definitely hey buddy, how you doing? Uh, definitely sharks. <laughs> sharks? Oh yeah. I hate sharks. Zona, you're a big clown fan, aren't Mine you? Mine goes eggs, clowns, sharks. Eggs, Why are you clowns, scared of sharks? eggs? I've never eaten one in my life. Why are you scared of them? I wish I could answer that. <laughs> my, my mom said I was scared of them when I was a little boy, and I hold a grudge. <laughs> I do, man. You're like an elephant. You I, never forget. I don't forget. That's funny. I've never had one. We've got another couple here before we... Never had an egg. Won't do it for a thousand bucks. Give them a break. No, back in college, my buddies got together $680 for me to take a bite of a scrambled egg, and I could not do it. Damn. Could not do it. Viewer at home wants to know, Martin, uh, Asa wants to know, how does today catching these fish compare to your best fishing lake or day ever? Oh, it's up there in the top three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, this is pretty silly. I've caught, I mean, I've been to some places and caught them really, really good before, like smallmouth up north and stuff, but I don't know about the numbers and quality. I don't think you could touch this anywhere. That I've seen. Yeah, it's a magical place. It's insane. Four or five, six pounders all day. All day. Every five minutes. Was there nothing on that pile? No. Nope. Wow. Wow. Nothing on either side, but they might they might nibble on that worm. You throw that worm up in there. I'll give her one more shot. That seems that worm seems really oh. dorky right now. Yes, sir. <laughs> Keep waiting to see a deer walk down that levee, you know? Huh? Stay on point, guys. <laughs> Stay on point. <laughs> a lot of ADD flying in this boat right now. <laughs> Halfway answering questions, losing fish. Come on, boy. Boy, it is target rich, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Target rich. We kind of been through this stretch a yeah. little, hadn't we, or no? Yeah, a uh, little bit right we there. A we caught a couple. It. Yeah, but we're gonna go back through those trenches. Yeah. Just keep it honest. Then we're gonna fade a little bit to the north until West starts yelling at me that we're losing service. That's my plan. We never really showed him the cricket on the. The riff wrapper out there. Any second now. What a fun morning. 
something's fixing to happen in this corner. Gosh. <laughs> it's like, gosh. Yeah. As you were saying. Yep. I bet you we are. We are the only live, one of the live sports in America. Only game in town. Uh-huh. Been hearing a lot of that lately. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, come on. That's a good high spot, too. We cracked him on that yesterday. I think we... Yo! Okay. Pulling out. Okay. How about out here, Ronnie? So, Martin, I have a question. I, I Shoot. pay attention to NASCAR. I've watched for my whole life. You started professionally around the time the Elite Series started in 06. What's it been like the last three years? Because you've won seven, eight wins a year almost the last three years. What's it been like these last three years compared to, you know, your whole career starting out? Yeah, well, I mean, it's been, uh, I've had kind of a crazy career if you look at it, as you mentioned, you know, had uh, my first cup win pretty early and then, you know, took a couple of years without one and won again and then took a couple of years and then all of a sudden started racking them up. But it's just been, uh, honestly, I feel like I appreciate it more. I probably work harder than I used to, but um, it's just been honestly, man, fun to, to be able to, you know, finally have continued success and consistent success. Next How many year, have you won the last three years? Um, total. I mean, seven last year, four the year before that, eight before the eight the year before that. So that doesn't suck. Nineteen of his twenty-six in the last. Yeah, wow. I mean, it's just been, uh, you know, you got to get with the right guys, the right people, and the right, a lot of it's about timing, you know, in, in, in racing at, at that level, and I've been lucky to be surrounded by some great people and great teams, and it just, uh, you know, I feel like I, I celebrate every win like it's the last, because you never know, you know, when your last one's going to come, honestly, because I've been on the other side where I went a couple years without a win, so it makes you appreciate it, I think, more for sure, and it's, uh, you just kind of pinch yourself when you're on a streak like we're on, you know, and just try to do whatever you can to keep it rolling. How many years have you done it? Cup Series, I've, 06 was my first year, so. Wow. Yeah. It's about when we met. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this thing is just beat to beat to smithereens. I mean, I just what got, were you gonna say? I just got my tail ripped off. I mean, it's like putting new blade minnow on, and keep chunking it. You put. Oh, we need to get another pack of them out, don't we? Oh, uh, they're right in that box right there. Right in that mafia oh, okay. box. I mean, did you? You did, man. You're on. You're on your game. I'll give you some credit on that. Yes, sir. Get him. Go ahead. Megan. Yeah. I got problems. <laughs> oh, I got no. problems. That's a nice one. Look at him. Oh my gosh. I knocked him out. <laughs> He's a little concussed at the moment, folks. You have to give him a minute. I did hit him. I did hit him. <laughs> big man. Big man just puts it on. Right. Are we on a are we in a wad? I think we're right where the, we saw those fish cruising. Right where you cast it. I thought that looked familiar. A little trench. Oh yeah, you're on them. I mean, reeling it as fast as I could. It's like you just reel it into a brick. Yes, exactly. It just, chunk. Another big one.
I'm gonna pull you up where you could hit that just a clip more. I know I should retire. Nah. <laughs> takes too long. Nah. <laughs> it takes too long. You miss one. That's it, right? I see that. the cast. Yeah. Get him. I sat I sat in his uh in his box in Michigan. I sat in his box and and Ryan Newman's up in Michigan. I want to get on that headset so bad, Ronnie. <laughs> I'd have just been like Martin Z train. What up? Oh my god. I got I got problems with this thing. I got a lot of problems yeah. right now. I got a lot of problems. <laughs> Let's let me let me do some. You know what? I'm gonna retire this one, and I'm giving it. I am giving this. I'm gonna give this and a Mercury apparel pack to somebody. Mercury Outboards <laughs> apparel pack and that bait. Okay. Okay. So here's the deal. See? Look how pretty that. This is. I'm going to do a before and after. <laughs> okay. All right, so again, I'm going to run through this with you again real quick, friends. What a fun day of playing hooky. I do mean it. Thank you, everybody that's watching. I mean that sincerely. I was really excited to do this with Martin. He was saying back there, we tried to do this for four or five years, but they race every seven days, and we usually got tournaments every two weeks this time of year. And it makes it nearly impossible to do. But I made the comment to, you know, he fishes up a lot of the places where I've grown up and where we've taped shows up in Traverse City, Traverse Bay, and all those lakes up there. So I kind of wanted to do something that he hasn't seen before and we're really worried we're gonna get rained <laughs> we're still gonna get rained out we're gonna eventually so the whole gig half ounce thunder cricket i would use a three ace as shallow as we are but i can't burn a, a three ace as much as i want to you can burn that that half ounce look at that I mean, look at this. I'm talking about a dadgum stud. Golly. I mean, that thing is three inches wide. Come on, here. Good to go. But like I said, 20 pound Seaguar Brazex. Look at that gut. Look at that. That makes the team. Doesn't it? I think so. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Let's put him in there. Just kidnap him for an hour. Got a little bit of culling to do in there. It's kind of the meat locker. <laughs> oh man, yeah. that's nice and pretty. A new one. Yeah, it is. It looks. It looks good. Looks a lot better than mine. <laughs> this thing's toast. I figured I'd let that settle for a minute, see if they reload, because I couldn't get a bite in there. And then I just got a bite right here. In the oh, trench? Yeah, just in the middle of nothing. Wow. They're just swimming around, thinking about making babies. Well, I do might want to make a hot lap down that, all those concrete barriers. We never threw any of this. We top watered it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Where are you getting the questions from? Twitter or just like Twitter, online? Facebook, He's making them up. All of it. Wherever they use the hashtag Zola. Right on. <laughs> yeah, D. Wayne from Alabama. D. Wayne. Screw you, D. Wayne. Yeah. It's, by the way, it's D. Wayne. Yeah, D. 
idea. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. He likes to email the show and kind of tune us up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Biggin, 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 biggin. Biggin. Yep. Spinning yep. around. Yep. Get him. You still saying? <sighs> he went right. Yeah, he's, he's Is he right there. there? Yeah. He just swam towards you. He's swimming towards your arm. <laughs> Z, I've got two quick ones for you. Yes, sir. From... From Twitter, Chris Kyle wants to know, hey, Z, yes, what's sir. your favorite boat snack, and will you ever do a skinny jean show? Uh, <laughs> number one, yes and yes. Well, it would. Come on. I, I don't like skinny jeans. I oh. do not like skinny jeans. I like to hold on loosely, if you know what I mean, boy. Um, favorite boat snack, without a doubt, hands down. Give me a break, dude. Bacon jerky. Right? With five-hour like five energy splash? Yeah, like five-hour energy and bacon jerky. <laughs> I'm what's all your about help. What's your favorite Five Hour Energy flavor, though? Uh, I got problems. Yeah, you do. He's not as big. He's not as fun. Uh, I like the I like the the lemonade one that Wes bought. <laughs> extra strength. Oh my gosh. So, the second question for this two little question deal is from Austin on Twitter, and his handle you'll like the Z. Austin's Twitter handle is Little Squirt Eleven. So Little Squirt Eleven wants to know. Why, why would I like? <laughs> I <don't, laughs> so he wants to know who is Martin. It. Who is Martin Truex's favorite Elite Series angler, and who is Mark Zona's favorite NASCAR driver? You so, can't pick each other. I'll, I'll, I'll let know. Martin go first. Yeah. Who you, you know when you're watching Bassmaster? Who do you like to root favorite for? Favorite Elite Series angler? Oh man. Um, that's a good one. Uh, he was pretty proud I mean, of the classic champion. This yeah, year. I, mean, I was really happy to see down the street. Yeah, uh, Hank Cherry win because he, you know, I live part. I live part part of the time on Lake Norman, and that's kind of his stomping ground. So that's pretty cool. Um, I fished with with Zal Dane a few times. He's an awesome guy. He comes to some races, so he's he's become a friend. So I pull for him. But uh, I've met a lot of guys through Bass Pro and things like that. That. Uh, you know, I, I just, I, honestly, I just enjoy watching. I don't really have a favorite, per se, and it's good to see uh, good guys win, you know, like Hank winning there a couple weeks ago. You got your hands full I mean, there. I have big, got my hands Big full. Daddy. With NASCAR, mine's Ryan and, and Martin. Seriously. I mean, I've known them for, for years and years and years. I mean, we were actually, we were going to have... We were going to have Ryan here this week with us. Glad he's doing pretty good. Gosh, dang, I got nailed. Ryan's doing awesome. He was he was really wanting to come. He couldn't swing it, but uh, we were talking about having a tournament. Look at that, Chubbs. With uh, Davey. Yeah. Davey and Newman a- against me and Zona. And Newman couldn't go, so... I hope maybe he's watching. If he's watching, man, you're missing out. <laughs> I know you wish you were here, but son, it's even better than it than it looks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's just ridiculous. And here's what's jacked up is is I called I called Newman and we were he's like, oh, just send me a picture. And yesterday we took a picture and we posted it. I could not bring myself to send it to him. <laughs> You know there's another one sitting right there. Who are some other fishermen that, that fish in NASCAR? They, have, they can't hear me, but uh, I just want to ask. Honestly, the only ones that are somewhat serious about it are me and Newman. Really? And I, I'd say that I don't really know of any other guys that really fish. Fish I mean, a bunch. None yeah. of them fish like I do, like freshwater, saltwater, all over the country, kind of. Besides, you know, Newman does a lot of freshwater stuff, but... So growing up in Jersey, I mean, when did you start really fishing a lot, or was it in Jersey? Did, did you guys that move somewhere awesome. else? Or? Did you hang it? Oh, yeah. I'll get it. I uh, I grew up fishing. I grew up in a fishing family on the coast, so I did a lot of saltwater stuff growing up. And, you know, ride my bike to the local lakes, golf courses, wherever I could wherever I could fish. So I grew up doing a little bit of everything, and uh, that's kind of still the way I am now. I, you know, I... He's a smallmouth addict. I love smallmouth up north. Addict. Yeah, I do that every summer. Um, and a lot of largemouth stuff and 
at home, Lake Norman. Yeah. Good old Norman. I got some, some places on the road, you know, where we go. We got some buddies on the road where you hit spots. Fish, I do some California bass stuff. I got my own saltwater boat in Florida, so. If I ain't racing, I'm hunting or fishing. I, I keep rods and reels in my motorhome. They stay in there. And uh, yeah. Got a handful of tracks where we got some spots to hit. So it works out pretty good. Always looking for more. If anybody's got one, <laughs> hit me up. I ain't, I'll fish anywhere. <laughs> I looked at that lane. That lane showed up on the 360 like a perfect bulldozer trench. Should not swing those. Wow. Wow. I'm on a cold streak. I like, might need a new skirt. <laughs> you've got like three, <laughs> strand, three oh, strands left on it. I think there's just not even one full length one left. I guess zeroed. Just a vibrating blade minnow. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's hit that, that piece of rebar, and come right up that. Let's do it. Okay. Perfect. Wow. Eat what two. a couple hours of bassing. It don't suck. Incredible. Oh, man. Unreal. Did I tell you what's weird? Is how schooled up they are. Yeah. It's like really weird. It's like they just haven't gone to them pad stems to spawn yet. I'm sure there's some crews in the banks, but yeah. I think you'd want to have to pick through them right. <laughs> when you can do this, right? This is just, oh, you're getting bit. Drop it on his head right there. Oh, yeah. Oh. Did he bite it? Yeah, he bit it. Come on. Oh, not good. We still got good service out here? One camera, this one. Okay. We looking for service now? Well, I'm gonna get along this just so we're out in the open. Ooh, missed that. Oh, God, he hit it hard. My God. Was he just out in Nowhereville? He, I think it's probably the one that I bit, got bit on last cast. Trained it. Let me just, mm. Got it. What a freak show today. Yep. Man, I don't know. I think we're just a little more dialed in on them. <laughs> right. <laughs> We've trenched in a little bit. <laughs> Look at that bar that goes off uh -huh. of that, right? Well, there was a lot blowing up right in that area this morning. You're getting bit. A little short. <laughs> yes, sir. No, I'm going to stay to the left. We get bad service up in there. I gotta do it. Now I'm gonna just kinda hold us out here. I know that storm's kinda, for everybody at home, we got a bad storm bearing down on us. Boy, they were up on this this morning. Mm hmm. Uh huh.
We're still okay out here, EK? Yeah. Uh, starting to get sketchy. Okay. We'll bring us back in the middle. Okay. No Rock. way. Yes, I no, did. You didn't. Right between the things. No, you did not. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. That's so bad. Almost waking it. Hey, Ronnie, let me hit these high spots right out here. It's just a short, stubby little okay. thing, huh? 12 inches and two pounds? Yes. Two and a half pounds? I mean, just. There's a couple of high spots we had not. So we're good out in this area, right, Eric? Yeah. Okay. There's a lot of high spots we ain't hit. Oh my gosh. Yeah, let's hit a little of this stuff we've not. Hammer down on. Did you have one? Had a bite. We caught some out here yesterday, didn't we? I thought we did. I thought we did too. Wow. Dang. Gotta be the storm, huh? How, how, do, do you remember? How is it over in there? Okay. I'm going to head that way where it's in the open. It's the weather. Yeah, it's got to be. Goodness gracious. Really? Yep. Oh, he came back for it too, and I missed him again. Look at what he did to me. Trashed. Look. <laughs> oh gosh. He Terrible. pulled it down, then he bit it off. Good. Got him. We're around him again. Holes. Holes. <laughs> Holes. <laughs> Cut. I'm just going to hold right here a moment. can't get my hand around them. That's so unreal. My gosh. That one didn't come back, huh? I just threw the first time back in there, but no. Mike just cast. Is that rain I hear? Wind? It's not good. Yeah. It ain't great. No. Oh my gosh. Hammered it. I, I, I can never catch up to him. It was just like took a pair of scissors and cut my line. Really? Sweet. Okay. I'm gonna 
catch that fish, Bowman. There was a big one in that brush pile yesterday, if you remember. I do. I think it was that one. Maybe it was the closer one. Yeah. Is it either that one or that? Like the, this lake is exhausting. My wrist hurts. Like See, I'm dead no serious. Lie. It's, it's a mess. About to get away. <laughs> What's funny is it's no joke. So I fish here with Clark Wendlet last year, right? And they had already spawned and were still built like this after they spawned. Like, you know how fish get real skinny for a month? Yeah, they just keep... Nope. They drop their eggs in here and just start eating. Yep. It's not surprising. Yeah. I'll say that. Oh, he did oh, not yeah. eat it. swinging but uh, whatever yeah we're gonna do a zone alive uh end of may if we don't get rescheduled on everything actually up where where martin fishes a bunch we're gonna do a uh two zone alives to catch up in one week up near traverse one large mouth one small mouth It'll be a big time. Ay, 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 ay. Seen him? He was trying to track it down. I know it'll get sketchy, but let's try to get go up that gut where we cracked him yesterday right there. We've got, we got like six, six minutes before the break. Okay, so okay. Oh, that sucked. That really sucked. You know, I try not to suck, Martin, and I still do. <laughs> it happens, Avery. Happens to the best of them. Yeah, that's that's the tree that one was on. Oh, I mean, you ought to see him just swat on it right, it right, right there. We're all over it. Oh, look out! Look Coming out. at you. Yeah, it's wind coming. Damn. Yeah, there's a lot of wind coming. That storm is just south of us right now. See how good Ronnie's radar is in a minute. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's going to miss I'm us. I'm hoping very. Martin, this isn't from one, one specific person online, but multiple people have asked, what's your favorite track if you could if you could fit, race one track if you needed to get a win where would you want to race um if i needed to get a win it's funny because a couple of my like favorite tracks i don't have a ton of wins which is interesting but uh my favorite tracks are atlanta which i haven't won darlington which i have won but only once and homestead which i've only won at once it's kind of odd i've won more races and other tracks, but I enjoy those older paved uh, type tracks probably the most at everything. But honestly, I mean, I, there's not a bad one. They're all they're all fun and different, challenging in their own ways. I think one of the yeah, they're pretty different. I mean, the interesting part about our sport is you know you can see two tracks that are you know from the sky look very similar, like Chicago and Kansas, for instance. You know, even the infield looks the same and set up the same way, but to drive the car 
to be on the actually be on the track it's completely different you know so it's uh there's a lot of a lot of unique things about our sport that's definitely one of them it's just how different all the tracks really are so i was talking to you yesterday when we were taping talk about that how insane that make, makes you like daytona when you guys were having rain delays yeah like makes you mad maddening well yeah it's like you sitting at the lake for two hours yesterday waiting on me <laughs> you're like sitting there watching fish you're like you just want to go you want to go 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 and then somebody says well it's going to rain you got to stop you know for an hour or two and you're just you get in that mindset of wanting to go what do you do during a delay eat <laughs> Like, that's really, sit in the motorhome and eat because you're bored to death. That's pretty much it. There's a rain drop. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's coming. Just hope it just doesn't get too bad. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get us on these outer, our outer poles now. If I can get, if we got good, good, huh? If we got good service out there, we're gonna, we'll crush them. Yeah, we only have two minutes till the break. Okay. Copy this that. thing is feeling Man, awful. Huh? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> That's Jerry Springer Shores right there. <laughs> we'll just see how we got wh what we're looking like out here. We'll test run. Yeah, I know that. I know the clouds are messing with our cell service. Are we still good in here? Great. Take it. Huh? My man. Yeah. Oh, he just counted the wind a little bit. That one? I don't know. It was that one back there. Oh. I was a little too far from it there. Somebody's going to get bit here. I'm going to bring her out a little further to the right, Ronald. Yeah, exactly right. Last hour coming. Last hour coming. Martin Truex Jr. Zone Alive presented by Humminbird on Bassmaster.com. And we're going to try to see if we've got good cell service in here because it could, could be the best hour of Zone Alive so far today. Be back in a minute. Way to come back. Come on over here. Look how he's got it. I mean, wanted it. <laughs> I mean, they just. You think he's been eating this spring? <laughs> Look at this thing! Jacking him with 20 pound line, you know? You've seen how much he's, he's grabbed that spinning rod, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right? Gosh, man, I got nailed. Ryan's doing awesome. He was he was really wanting to come. He couldn't swing it, but uh, we were talking about having. A I can't get my hand around. <laughs> That's so unreal. I mean, That's not even normal. Zona Live is brought to you by Carhartt, Procar. And by Power Pole. When your hands are busy, your mind gets right. When your hands are busy, you can't point fingers and complain that life isn't fair. When your hands are busy, you're serving your family, your friends, and your community. When your hands are busy, you show everyone what you're capable of. The all-new Ram 1500, Motor Trend's 2019 Truck of the Year. At Mercury, we invested more than 844,419 hours of engineering manpower. So you can enjoy hours and hours of untapped horsepower. So buckle up and hold on tight. Introducing the all-new V6 Mercury Pro XS. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. We know if you found one crappie, you may have found a thousand. We know the joy of getting your boots back in the mud. 
We know the journey can be more rewarding than the destination. We know the great outdoors. We love the great outdoors. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Stop by today for huge savings on the gear you need and the brand you trust. Plus, free two-day shipping at BassPro.com and Cabela's.com. Tatula line of bass rods are finely crafted using state-of-the-art components. Natural cork handles provide timeless functionality combined with a sure grip. Reduced weight planks allowing for a more precision load-up. And tangle-free Fuji Foss light guides for long, accurate casts. If you're looking for a professional grade designed with a specific purpose in mind, take a look at the Tatula line of bass rods where we built one just for the task. Blue Water by TH Marine. Offering LED lighting solutions for your boat, trailer, truck, ATV, and so much more. Engineered and built to be rugged with waterproof and submersible options. Designed for easy installation, Blue Water is available in a variety of colors and styles. All backed by a limited lifetime warranty. Blue Water by TH Marine. What lies beneath can no longer hide. New Mega Imaging Plus uses high-frequency sonar to show you fish and structure up to 200 feet below your boat and 200 feet out to either side. No more secrets, no more guesswork, just a clearer picture of the world below, down to a fish's species and direction. Because more detail means more of this. Only from Humminbird. With a geometric triangular point to penetrate faster and easier. Oh my goodness. Surgically sharpened, resulting in a hook that penetrates twice as fast and dramatically improves strike to hook up ratios. Make it. Made in the USA. Get open the most extraordinary fish hook ever made. Trocar. Hi, I'm Mark Zona. What? I'm Mark Zona. Well, I need a performance braid for finesse presentations. And I need a performance braid for power fishing. Seaguar Smackdown High-Vis Flash Green lets me see line movement for those subtle bites. Smackdown Low-Vis Stealth Gray blends in to make my presentations more natural. Both are eight strands in a perfectly round weave. And for me, it's the longest casting and quietest braid on the planet. Enter to go fishing with me. Visit Seaguar.com slash Smackdown. Fun time, good times, your time. There's nothing better than a day on the water. That is, until the unexpected happens. Nothing sinks a good time faster than a dead battery. Nothing turns a carefree morning into a stressful afternoon like an overheated engine. Why let your good day turn into a bad day when you can count on Boat US? With the nation's largest network of towboat US towers, we're here to assist you 24 hours a day. Boat US makes sure all your boating time is a great time. Zona Live is brought to you by Seaguar.
Boat US. TH Marine. And by Bass Mafia. You are watching Zona Live. Brought to you by Humminbird. This is so amazing. So we actually, we power pull down here for a second. And so we've got Mega 360. Um, and one of the biggest questions you get is, okay, what are you looking at? Like, what, are, what am I seeing right here? Okay. Obviously there's a weed line right here in a trench, but this is really cool. If you look right here, there's a big concrete tank with, you see that dot? That is that stake right there. So if the water's dirty, you'll see a lay down right there, but that's how clear that image is. You could see the round part of that tank right there with the actual piece of rebar that comes out of the water right there. That's the whole deal with Humminbird Mega 360. And, and the great thing about that is if, if you are, here's what I thought, and I was totally wrong on this, Polinick was the one that kind of opened my eyes to it. You know, I thought Mega 360 was cool if you're in a shallow deal, in a stump field, but where, where he opened my eyes was especially for when I'm chasing smallmouth or fishing offshore, is looking at isolated rock or isolated wood. It, it's, it's unbelievable. And like the more I've used it the last year, I feel blind when I'm not. I'm gonna catch one right now. God, look at that boil where I just came across Sheesh. that log. Look at the mud cloud yeah, he kicked I mean, he, up. Can't believe he didn't. Uh-huh. I didn't know. All right, we coming up into the danger zone up here. And I mean, it was kicking waves in here yesterday. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna see if we can fish this high spot. Oh, hidden tree there. Yeah. Hmm. All right, last hour before you got to get last up. Last hour, let's wreck them. Are you going tarpon fishing tomorrow? Probably. That does not suck. Yeah, probably. Get Bowman in the back of the boat. Get Bowman. He's on it. Oh, yeah. Can't stand it. Couldn't stand it. All right. I'm going to try to go out here and see we get what we got out here, EK. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Crushed it. I see it. I see the boil. Yep. They here, eh? Yep. All right. Hammer down on it. Oh, it's been a fun 24 hours of fishing with you, bud. It's been amazing. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Yes, sir. What's that? Yes, sir. Actually, no, Ronnie. Come on the right because it's way, way too shallow for you, okay? Where are they at? Where are they at? They're right here somewhere. We'll, we'll find them. Gosh, I almost feel with that storm going, we should go back where we were creaming them just for the last hour. I'm just worried we're, hey, hey, hey. I'm just worried we're not going to have good service. You're going to get bit. There he is. He, he was in there. He was shallow. <laughs> You're going to get bit. Huh? Uh-huh. That is fun. Oh. That fish was literally in like eight there. inches of water. Yeah. Shallow, shallow. I'm going to press it, Eric. Last hour, I'm going to press this. All right. I can't keep my bait clean out in the middle. For all our friends watching, 
this morning we started on this bar right here. Gosh! I mean, locked it. Nice one. That is a big one. We started on this bar in the morning. Oh my gosh. Unreal. And they were shark and a frog earlier. See that stuff right there? <laughs> yeah, naughty. He's on. Nope. Look at Bowman. Back there just winding. <laughs> just winding. <laughs> Can't stand it. Hey guys, how are you doing? <laughs> I mean, every direction, huh? Every direction. That is so great. That is so great. <laughs> Look at that! Are you kidding? <laughs> Bowman, you throw that way. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, just ate it. Wow. Hold them both up. Huh? So cool. So cool. I hope everybody enjoyed today. Seriously, I know it's been a a sucky few weeks. Oh, well, we do. I'm gonna 45 minutes more therapy for everybody, including us. Frog yeah. bite, frog bite, frog bite. Ronald, that did not suck right there. Frog, eh? On the frog. Look at, look at the popping perch. Look at the popping perch. Gone. Goodbye. I see what you're going to throw for the next 30 minutes. That's super frog. I'll pick the spinning rod up. I'm an idiot. <laughs> How about that? A frog bite. Here's what's weird was Martin and I were out here yesterday and we both threw a frog and got zero bites. And this morning, the first cast, boosh! I laid it down. We clear on rain for a little bit? All right. What a fun. Sketchy? <laughs> Coming in hot. Boy, this does make it hard to tape anywhere else the rest of the year. It really does. I guarantee it. Yeah. I mean, my thumb is bleeding. <laughs> Literally bleeding. I got hose all poked in it. I'm watching Bowman like a hawk. Like a hawk. Damn it. I know I'm gonna press our luck with service, but I gotta see if we can get up in this one area. Martin knows the area I'm headed to. They ought to be all along that bar. Yes. Strip, right? They've been and on the top. I wouldn't be scared to throw it across it. I mean, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Yes, sir. That frog bite was like seven inches of water. Yeah. You hear Wes giving it to Bowman.
you were going to get ripped right away. I was just going to say, uh-huh. dude, you're going to get ripped. <laughs> So oh, great. It's weird they like that, that those little sand spots. Yeah, he was right on the edge of it. Yeah. As soon as it came off of there, stunk. And I mean cranking it. Yeah. Cranking. My, oh. 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 Boy, I'm going to put him down. Look at this thing. Yeah. Death. I'm going I'm I'm to I'm keep forcing the frog. Just for the last hour. Just. Oh. <laughs> Can't hook that one. He's messing with me. Frog's in a dangerous area. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's in a dangerous area. I'll tell you what's funny though is the ones that have bit this today have got it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, they can get it if they want yeah. it. Oh my god. We still good on service right here. Beautiful. If we can get just past that duck blind, there's some stuff gonna happen. Oh, I kind of You're good, buddy. You're good. Don't worry about it. Come over here. See if there's anything up here over on the side. Hey, Ronnie, pull to the right just, just a hair. Not up here. I'm going to, I'm going to press our luck with service up here. Get it. We caught some, that duck blind right there for everybody at home. We caught some. Really big ones there yesterday. No. I'm going to wind. Somewhere in here we ought to get bit. Yeah. Oh, great. You called it. Yeah. Good golly. He's mad. Very angry. What a bass fishing day. What a day. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Look at that one. Good golly. Bill. Best looking bass I've ever seen in my lifetime. Yeah, they are pretty. I mean, just loaded. <laughs> All right, my, my fingers my are destroyed. Just a hair. Z, I'm gonna hit you with one. Yeah. Non-fishing related, but I, it's very important coming up, yeah. and that would be Corbin Palmer wants to know what your thoughts are that the Chicago Bears have ten tight ends on their roster. And, uh, you know, their off season's not, not the what? best so far. Well, well the, sad, the sad part is we got 10, but we really don't have one. Look at Bowman back there. Hot apple pie. Hot apple pie. <laughs> he lost. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 have, we have 10 tight ends, but we really have no tight ends. That's the... Good I caught the smallest bass of the day right there. <laughs> that is the I'm gonna only tell you, non Mr. P, who lake. owns the lake, he'd be like, you need to knock the side off of that boy. 
Yeah. I just wanted to know, you know, and maybe some Nick Foles thoughts from you as well, Corbin. Stop it, Ronnie. Win, I just want to know. Hey, because I understand. Oh, I just hung up. When we were here last year, right after the NFL draft, the day after, I was picking on young Kyler Murray, but now our Cardinal, my Cardinals look fine. We got Hopkins. Kyler might be an inch taller this year, so oh, he's not so short. you're a little piece of work right now. <laughs> I hear the tone. I hear the tone. I'm just letting you know. Nick Foles yeah. is the man. <laughs> Let me just well, say for that you, right he now. is. Let me just say that right now. Nick Foles is the man. I mean, come on. Off the bench, wins the Super Bowl. <laughs> I don't know how much treads left on the tire, no pun intended. I don't know. Uh, the, my pu- yeah. Maybe maybe Trubisky will win the battle, you know, with, with some competition. Pull down right there. Grass. Got another another question uh, from Rob K on Twitter. That magic stuff. Z, I'm going to Holland, Michigan in July. Sure. Can you give me three inland lakes to check out for smallmouth? Nah, <laughs> easy. Who's that, Rob? Rob, Rob. K. Rob K. Uh, um, you can give him three. Dude, they oh God. golly, son. Boy, they got up on the pad flat. Oh yes, yes sir. Son. Dad gum slaunch. <laughs> Good. I mean, choked it. Bud, you have strummed them today. Huh? Strummed <laughs> them. It's like... <laughs> strummed them. Oh, good boys, all right. I, I would tell I would tell Rob K, just go to Lake Michigan. Don't worry about the inland lakes. So, Z, just like this show, normally after about two or three hours, it starts to go into the ditch a little bit because we're having so much fun. Pretty much. A, view, a viewer wants to know, oh, Kevin yeah. wants to know, Kevin W. from... Uh, I just got ripped. Kevin man. W. from Little Rock wants to know, what's your favorite brand and model of toilet paper since you got, you know, you rush into the stores to get them? I, I'm not answering that, Kevin. Yeah, okay. That's Kevin That's Witherspoon from JM Associates. I'm not answering anything he's asking. <laughs> I mean, I where's have... everybody at today? What are they doing? They should, be, they should be watching. Plenty of, yeah. of questions. Um, There's nothing on TV There's that's nothing. worth watching. Walker Goodwin. <laughs> Z, Walker Goodwin wants to know, what's your go-to lure in the summer months? Top water, Texas rig, or jig? Half-ounce structure jig. Absolutely. Half-ounce structure jig with a Rage Craw trailer, period. I, I, Wes gets tired of how many shows I want to tape with that. God, it's so fun when they hit that thing. So fun. And the great thing about that is you fish it from three inches of water to 30 feet of water, and it catches them. Should I play with fire to see if I can get us up in there? Or no, should I stay out in the middle? Stay <laughs> That's not what I wanted. All right, I'm going to stay out in the, in the... Look at him back there, bowed up. Bowman? <laughs> Has he not... He stuck one? No. So, Z... General question from a viewer. You just wrapped up your Zona season from, Look at Bowman. from last locked year. I'm up, Jack. Come on, man. <laughs> Get him. Leave me alone. Bowman's pulling rank right here. I don't, <laughs> I don't give two rats. <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave me alone back here. Mind my own business. Yeah. Being all, what do you call it? L- yeah. Loquacious. Loquacious. High question. He's hot we were at break. He's like, hey, man, don't be scared to throw a brother of thunder cricket one night. You know? <laughs> <laughs> don't be. Some, get out of my hole. Give me some love. Boy, you just got front-ended really bad right there. Starting to get sketchy a little bit. Yep. But <laughs> Thank goodness we only did three hours today. Okay. I'll get us out. So, Z, you just wrapped up your 2019 season of shows. Yes, or sir. They just aired in 2020. What was your favorite one from this season of Zona's Awesome Gosh, Fishing Gosh, you know what's weird is I got, I got some buddies up in, I got some buddies up in Fergus Falls, Fargo area, Lyle and Casey, and we taped some shows up there. One was with Mark Daniels, then I taped one alone. 
Um, I, I just like that area of the country. I, I re- Look at Bowman. He had one behind him. <laughs> Boy, he was wanting to catch that so bad. <laughs> I, I, that, that is a special area, and those are two really cool dudes. Um, but to me, I'm dead serious. I think the best bass fishing is from Fargo to Minneapolis. Without a doubt, the best bass fishing I've ever experienced. Well, I mean, I'm watching you. I am watching you. Viewers at home asking about viewers at home and viewers in the boat asking if I'm still comfortable in shorts, and it's totally fun. Totally fun. Z, one of uh, a Michigander, Brian Evey, my man, asked, when dissecting a clear body of water in early spring, what depth level do you start at? I know you mentioned bluegill earlier, but is there a depth that you like to look at first before you find Brian Evie, good question right there. Brian Evie's a family friend, too. Uh, but whatever, wherever I could find live grass. Wherever I could find live grass. But, but that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a two-prong question because small, if you're talking... Large mouth, that's all I focus on is the, the, the last live grass. But what's funny is on our lakes, and I said this earlier, is how fast those large mouth will pop and go shallow. But in all honesty, um, for, for small mouth, it's a total different game. Total, total different game where they're at in early spring. You know, they like deep inside turns. But here's what I always say is, for a smallmouth, be near the biggest flat on the lake. If you're near the biggest flat, even if you're off the edge of it, it don't take smallmouth long to get up and snoop around and want to be shallow. Just be near the biggest flat somehow, whether you're off the edge or on top of it. Smallmouth are a lot like whitetail. They like to stay real close to where they feed. We got two more questions before we might take a pause in action, but Uh Mike K wants to know, Z, we know we just got you to put down the spinning rod for the first time today, basically. (laughs) Hey, Mike K. Hey, Mike K. This is for you. So Watch this. <laughs> he wants to know what your go-to knot is for braid to fluoro on a spinning rod. Mike K, hands down an FG knot. And here's the best way to put it. I actually do a lot of seminars about that. <laughs> it's probably the most asked question. Is the, the easiest one to start with is a double uni knot. Like that's how I, I started Hunter and Jacob is a double uni. It's fast. But to me, the best knot is an FG, without a doubt. Hands down. Now, do you have an issue with tournaments? I mean, Bowman. <laughs> Bowman's just co-angling us to death right now. <laughs> now, do you have an issue tying it quickly on the water? That is one thing. You tie it up in the uh, morning, you're probably not going to break it. But if you do, it takes a little bit it, on the water. Have you it, found it, a quicker way It takes a little bit longer, but it's worth it. You know what I mean? Like, I got an FG on this that I'm throwing here, and I have not, I've not retied it one time. Watch me break off the next bit. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I haven't had to retie one time. Yeah. Martin, this question's for you, and this is kind of from, it's three or four different people kind of asking different things, but <laughs> that makes you've, no sense. you've kind of partnered with Bassmaster. We've got the, the shield and everything oh, right yes. there by your driver yeah. window. Uh, and you said you grew up in New Jersey fishing. Yeah. Was there any Bassmaster memory that, that you just remember as a kid growing up watching any any shows or specific, you know, moments that, that hooked you watching that made you want to go out and fish? Oh, they all made me want to go out and fish. I mean, that's <laughs> like, I was a huge fish show, you know, guy when I was a kid. Like, Bill Dance was like my hero, you know. I watched everything he did, and I'd take his tactics to the local lakes and try them and everything else, but Bassmasters, I just loved to watch the competition. It was like racing to me, you know, but fishing, so, um, you know, I remember watching Ike and Ellie win it. That was cool, because he was from Jersey, and, you know, he was just getting started, I guess, back then, kind of, so that was pretty cool, but a lot of cool memories, man. It's just like racing to me, you know, big wins and the hype of the classic and watching that and everything else. I've, I've kept you know, in tune with it for a long time. I don't want to speak out of turn, Martin, but um, 
You can speak whenever I know you want. If you guys don't get back to racing, and if we do have an Elite Series tournament, you oh, are man. more than invited to join us in studio right on, yeah. at Bassmaster Live for a whole week. <laughs> hey, don't look so excited. A whole week sounds like work, but I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll come say hi. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, I might swing in for an hour. Or yeah, something. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we keep it light and airy. That would be fun. I'd love to do it. Uh uh. Go on with it, kid. I'm going to end it with a bang. <laughs> hey, Mike, I'm going to lay the spinning rod back down. Mike from Indiana. It's a big one. Yeah, it is. That's a big one. That is a big one, dude. Wow. I'll help you with that one over here. I mean, I got a full-blown mess on the side of this boat. Look, just look at the whole boat as a disaster. Oh, that is a big one. Hello. Come to Papa. Look at that bass. It's a good one. You had him. Yeah. He wasn't going anywhere. He ate it, didn't he? Yes, sir. <laughs> look behind. Look behind you. I mean, Bowman, just... Here, while you're down here. Hey. <laughs> bring it over here, Bowman. Bring, bring him on over here. I mean... You got, you got him caught in my, my drift paddle bracket, Bowman. Uh, this whole kind of a... Ooh, that's a nice one, Bowman. <laughs> you gonna make it over here? Yeah, dude? yeah, just take him. Watch this. Oh, I had him, Bowman. I got him this time. Whoo! Hey, Bowman. That's a fine bass right there. That's a big one. Is that a record for a camera boat driver? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, look out now. Look out. Standing in the wrong spot. <laughs> Hitting your trolling motor. It was trolling motor. Bowman, that was a fine bass right there. Huh? I'm just sitting down there landing everybody's fish. Hit him. This is one of those spots just really hard to move from here. That last one was right in that little ditch right was there. It? I'm gonna hit the stump. You know there's one there, buddy. I'm wanting to when we're back. done, this is yeah. gonna be the saddest looking Thunder Crickets you've <laughs> ever, you ever oh, done seen. My gosh. I look mean, at look that. at this poor thing. And they are just cranking it. I'm not even changing this till something, like till they oh, rip it off. Looks too good. It's just, it looks like an easy meal going six miles an hour. <laughs> 16 miles an hour, maybe. 25 minutes. 25 minutes. I mean, my wrist is about yes. broken, literally. I mean, oh, these bastards are mean. Yeah. It's been a beat town. I owe Mr. Mr. P a big thanks. Oh, Mr. P. Yeah. Mr. P's gonna have me mowing his lawn around this pond for the next 10 years. I <laughs> guarantee you that. I'll come down and do it. For you. Exactly, okay. <laughs> Be a team player. Feeling one, feeling one. Come on. Nope. Thought he'd be there. I really can't believe we hadn't seen a deer walk in that levee yet. Surprising. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey Martin, just an FYI, I do have a deer hunting spot for us next fall. I heard that's just that. a that's just a note to self. Yes, sir. I can see us getting in all kinds of trouble uh -huh. together. Okay, I'm bringing this back to the Holy Land. All right, do it. Boy, it's been a bladed jig beat down today. Uh huh. Da Da, da, da. Getting back down in the haunts. Oh man. Get God, Bowman man. back here. Don't, He's got another don't. one, doesn't he? <laughs> He's like He's so secretive. 
Back, I'm down to one. I'm down to two little hairs on my on my jig. Man, that one missed it. Get ready. Uh -huh. Look at him. Look at look at his rod. He's gonna he's gonna bust the rod. I just gave him the rod. No doubt. You know what he's thinking. You know what, you know what Bowman's thinking to himself right now. Man, I'm gonna tell you, you're just reeling too fast. <laughs> that was awesome. Did you see? That? Welded. <laughs> Welded. Look at that chub. Look how that bass is built. That is not normal. No, he's that like. That is not normal. Show his giant tail. Look at that bass. <laughs> Look at that thing! Oh. What in that the world? Not normal. Come on, Where man. Where are we? Come on, <laughs> man! <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. It's three pounds I and mean, ten and a half inches long. What? <laughs> it's like a bluegill mixed with a largemouth. <laughs> That's not like normal. Bass. Yeah, it's, it's like, like that, that rock bass. It's just not. I caught a rock bass smallmouth. It was shaped like this, and it was a little bit bigger. I mean, it was four pounds, Look and it was 13 that inches. That is crazy. He, he is wider than, long, than he is long. Yeah. I don't know what to do with you, bud. I mean, he just plowed it, too. Just a weird looking little dude. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> Simple Jack. <laughs> That's horrible. Oh. Horribly great. All right. Okay. We're back it's a good thing the... we're counting down because this is the last blade minnow you got, buddy. It's not looking good, is it? I mean, it's just been a bit. Just a, okay. Just a mass destruction. I'm going to get us in the. I'm gonna get us in the hot zone. Mass destruction. Mm. Gosh, do you know how bad I wanna go in that corner up back there? But you can't, cause nope. Nope. Okay. Yep, you're right too. Man. Been a fun zone alive. Fun. I know. Yes, sir. Dana. Yep, we're getting near it. Dana. We're getting near it. Look at that cut. Ooh, I like your odds. I <laughs> yeah. do like the odds. About to fall right in it. All right. Shocking. Yep. We have pressed this area a little bit right here. Let me know when we clear up, EK. Uh, th these two poles, we, I know we were clear before. Okay. There he is. Oh, gosh. That is, when they weld it, is the best feeling. Ronnie, a few more questions before we...
tie a bow on it. Oh, I just had one drill it. <laughs> oh my God. So I'm going to pull down here if we're clear. Holy Malou the boil back there where he hit me. I mean, just. Feels like you pulled it through a stump. You can pull me up for a second. Yeah, Try. I'd say you'll get him. You got it. You got him. Oh. Oh, he come off. I had too much So, Z, you've got a lot of different names. You've yes, coined sir. a lot of phrases for I bass. <laughs> Martin, what's your favorite? What's your favorite nickname for a bass? A big bass. Ah. A dad gone slog. That's what I'm talking. There's my guy. Huh? That's my guy. He knows how to play the game. He knows how to play the game. It's follow up. Is this the first week that you've said the word chublin regularly? <laughs> totally the first time I've said chublin. <laughs> yes, sir. What's funny is it works for anything. <laughs> I mean, you look at these bass though, and you immediately think chublin. <laughs> <"Chubblin." laughs> like it's just Z David Blankenship wants to know. How did you get your sons interested in fishing like they are with so many options available to young guys these days? You know, that, it, it's, all, it's, all we've, it's all we've ever done. That it's, the, I, the, I have, Karen and I have pictures of the boys, you know, on, on my parents' pontoon boat when they're, you know, gosh, they're this big holding four or five pound smallmouth. And, you know, the, the, the negative, if there's a negative, is they, they've grown up fishing really good bodies of water you know what i mean and they, they don't like here's what they are they're a little bit like this show they don't like to fish places that suck <laughs> you know um just because they've gone to traverse city growing up and and i would take them to st Clair. and when you do that it it's a positive and a negative but the the lake we live on it's a grinder you know the lake we live on and and they've learned from that. But, but you know, if there's one piece of advice to actually answer that question, the piece of advice is never force feed it on them. When they want to go fishing, let them go fishing. When they want to go hunting, let them go hunting. And just don't press it. Don't, don't ever press it. Z, you've been throwing the popping pad, popping pad perch. Uh, Kevin wants to know what kind of frog, uh, or when do you choose what kind of frog you throw? When do you go between the pad perch and the popping perch? And when it, to me, when it's dead, slick, calm, that uh, that pad perch is hard to beat because we've taped a lot of shows with it. But when you get a little bit of a ripple on the lake, that popping perch will give just a little bit more. It, it just causes a little more of a commotion, right? Um, but I'm gonna tell you, like Wes and EK and all the guys at JM, when we've taped with a uh, pad perch, it's mesmerizing to watch it. How well you pull it out, this is no joke. You know, on a usual frog, you gotta take it out of the package and trick with it to get it to, to walk. A, a pad perch, when you pull it out of a package, it natural, naturally just walks. Um, it, 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 to me, a pad perch, I throw probably 75% of the time compared to a regular, a regular popping perch, probably 25. And those are different kinds of frogs on the market, but one that's you know similar to most other brands, like a sexy frog. When would you mix in a sexy frog compared to the because they're I, different I, styles? I like a, here's where I like a sexy frog. Uh, <laughs> number one, I like it in in slop. Okay. I mean, I'm talking about Bowman locked up, Jack. Um, is I like a sexy frog in slop, and and here's another thing, I like a, a sexy frog for skipping docks. It, it skips better than than anything that I found. I'm in Bowman record. <laughs> it's hard to keep out. your composure with good. everything going Ooh, on. Boy. Here, got him. Oof. Hey, Ooh. Bowman. Again. I will see you. <laughs> see your seven and put up a seven. Cool. I'm gonna spot block us right there for a second. Dude, I just like throwing that worm. Um, 
But uh, I, I will tell you that a a uh, a sexy frog just skips way better than a popping frog or a, a pad perch. The Martin. other thing is oh. what's what's interesting is as much as I've jacked around Castledine, Todd Castledine from Texas is the one that kind of designed that is it's it's a very subtle frog you know what i'm the, that pad perch it's it's kind of sneaky if that makes sense martin i don't know who asked it but i saw this a second ago my thing is refreshed and i've lost it but someone wanted to know this is obviously irregular for you to have a break like this how do you stay sharp when your job is driving a race car 150 to 200 miles an hour, it's not something you do daily. How do you yeah. How do you stay sharp? Is there anything that you guys do? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, I think uh, there's not a whole lot, really there's no options. Like there's nothing you can do. I mean, a lot of guys do sim racing, I racing and things like that. And I used to do that a lot. I did it more, I think, for enjoyment, but um, there's really not a whole lot you can do. You can't test anymore. And um, I think it's just, you know, you race, cars as long as I have it just kind of comes natural like I, I feel like I can get in the car any day and be you know 99% on the first lap you know what I mean so like you just when you do it this long as a profession you're dialed in you know exactly you know what's going on you know the tracks and you just uh you know it kind of comes natural after a while hey Martin could I ask you a question yes sir do I have the right demeanor to be a race driver car driver like, are you like last night when we were just hanging? You're like, that dude could be a driver. Were you ever like that last night or no? I mean, we Don't got answer so fast. We got guys that can be as ADD as you. <laughs> if that's how you're asking me. Uh, <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie. Like when we were driving this morning here, I was like, I I got skills, and I know he's impressed right now. <laughs> I I know he's. Yeah, I mean, you handled the mud and the roads nicely. Well, I mean, I was showing, I was tricking it up a little bit. Look at that. Show that to Eric. Show that. I think it. it's officially D U N. That is that Capital is really D -U -N. bad. D U N. That is done. done. You want to throw mine? Uh, it is just tr wrecked. I mean, destroyed. Crashed. Crashed. It has four pieces of rubber skirt left. No paint. Oh my goodness. This has been a beatdown. It has been. We've fished three and a half hours and I'm utterly exhausted. My wrist is broke from them. They hit so damn hard. I'm gonna throw this jig a few times. Do it. Do it. I'm gonna change it up, throw the jig. Feel a little tick through that braid. I wanna go through that cut so bad. EK, I wanna go through there so badly. Oh. I know, I know, I know. I know. Right after sitting on. We have pulled on them. Woo! I think they're pulling on us now. Mm -hmm. Dink. Jess. Come on. Been a fun getaway today. It's been a blast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hopefully, everybody is enjoying it on the TV, computer. Let's lean on him on this high spot. Got it. Get it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's funny, like, you catch 300 bass and you still get excited. I know. Like, oh, my God, he's got it. Right? I'm, I'm a, still a mess. It's like everyone is, a, could be your last. It's like a race, you know, when you win. Right. It's like every bass you catch, you just won. One more. Small victories. One more. That's right where he was. Right in that hole. I feel like he's looking right for in that it. Ditch. I feel like he's looking for it. He got it. <laughs> Get him. That is the coolest thing on planet Earth in the history of Earth. S swim that worm and it goes tick. Would, would you look at this boat? What a disaster this has turned out to be. <laughs> it's usually a good sign, though, you know. You. 
My hand is shredded. Y'all think it's bad. You're getting excited. Look at that. It's not practice and safety, Z. It's not practice and safety. Yeah. No high five. Yeah. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was gross. <laughs> that was really gross. I don't know. Not real good. It, we're at safety. Ain't the deal. This ain't the deal here. Swim in the jig. It ain't the deal. Pick up that blade. You can use I that one. I just want to feel the thump on this once. You really do, don't you? Yeah. I just love it. Bowman, brother. Bowman's in full blown tournament. Right <laughs> I know, man. I've had it watching these idiots catch them. Golly. I think there's going to be one right in there somewhere. Yep. My man. Oh, with the braid. Did I just call that? Ooh. That shot right there? And it's a big hit. <laughs> oh, my no, God. No, you did oh, not. Oh, no. No, you did not do that. Oh, my God. It came off. Oh, it was one of the biggest of the time. Oh, it was too. <laughs> it was a stud. Oh my God, you got to be kidding me right now. I called the shot. I mean, called it. Gosh, dang. <laughs> For those just tuned in to uh, Zona Live this yes, whole three hours, anyone who question using hashtag zona live hashtag sweepstakes online will be entered to win the zona prize packs the th yeah. marine tackle titan the hummingbird apparel as well as you you were throwing out mercury apparel as well z i don't know baits from the out. show lake master chips a lot of giveaways everyone who contributed to the questions will do it i've got one final question yeah uh this one's for martin so martin there's a Shoot. every sport football basketball fishing has yeah. college, high school ranks that you can participate in and, and get to the highest point in the sport. For NASCAR and for racers, what yeah. would you tell a young person that wanted to get into racing? How do they go and do that? Because it's not the easiest thing to probably just jump in a car or to get even started. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's a great question. We get that one a lot. I think the biggest thing is you go to your local track. Oh my gosh. You know, whatever kind of local racing you have, dirt track, asphalt, go-karts, you name it, whatever it is you're interested in. Um, you know, you go to your local track, and that's how we all started. You know, I started going to the track as a little kid watching my dad and uncles race uh, at Wall Stadium in New Jersey. And, um, you know, I started racing go-karts at the local tracks and worked my way up, way up from there. So there's options, avenues, just like every other sport to go. It's, it's obviously a little bit, you know, different, um, you know, to try to get a race car or a go-kart or something than it is to go buy a bat or a glove or a ball. And so it's definitely more challenging to get into, but... You know, go to your local track and, um, you know, if you got some buddies there or make friends with somebody, volunteer, do whatever you got to do to get into it. A lot of my skills came from Wii. Nintendo Wii? <laughs> <laughs> it was so bad. iRacing, too. I didn't mention iRacing. I'm no. unconscious at tennis and bowling on Wii. <laughs> Ronnie, hook right, just a hair, just a hair. You good? I mean, how did I go and lose like the biggest one? It was a of dude. It was day? a horse. Jesus. That was a horse head. It was a big one. I mean, just when it jumped, I was like, oh ho, ho, no! And I hit her hard. Too. I know you did with braid. Yeah. Like, good grief! Sometimes it ain't meant to be, you know. Yep. Yeah. It's got a little sideways. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I used to race Did you? Yeah. Nice. Where at? Oh, yeah. Freaking dropping knowledge, Ronnie. I love it. Nice, man. That's awesome. I can say that's happened to me in a race car before. Yep. Somebody gives you one to borrow, destroyed. Yep. That's not a good feeling. I feel like you're going to get bit. I know, I do too. I really do. Like right yep. there, I feel yep. like it's. Yeah. <sighs> wow. He 
You seen any? This is a no. Oh, okay. okay. I thought I just seen. This is a mentally on. exhausting lake. Like. My man. My man. No. <laughs> no. Tiptoeing through the jewelry. Yeah. State record. In, in South, or North Dakota. South Dakota, I think yeah. it was. State record smallmouth yeah. on an umbrella rig. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How big? I was uh, uh, seven something yeah. on an umbrella. I didn't know Lyle then, and I was more infatuated with the hair. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's keep working up in here. I feel like there's a frog bite coming. Be a good place for it. Yeah, it would. It is. Oh, I've done that enough. She did work. She did work. Let's see if I can dig this one out of here. I feel like we're on like kind of untouched ground. Look at Bowen. Bowen just pulling away on the board. Shaking them off. Oh. <laughs> Look at that one. Yeah. Fun day. Fun. Unbelievably fun. Oh, I'm surprised right here. Got it, got it. I'm gonna keep kick around high. Look at way to end it. Way to end it. My man! Way to end it. I just what had to do. I just had to feel it. One one last time. Dump that jig, buddy. One last time. Ooh. Martin, you were absolutely phenomenal, my man. Have a safe trip home. Big thanks to thanks everybody, everybody on Bassmaster.com, JM Associates, Ooh, yeah. Humminbird, TH Marine, Trocar, Striking, all of them, the Scorpion Woman, Karen at home. Thank you to everybody. Ron, thank you to you. You've killed it today, as always. Hey, Bowman. Does it work? Dude, that's fun. Hey, this is fun. He's locked up again. Shaking him off. Shaking him off. A giant just came off that sand spot. Serious? Thanks for having me, man. This was awesome. We'll do it again. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. We will do it again. Hope you enjoyed it. I gotta keep casting. You need to do it in the... Yeah, everybody. We... Frog bite, frog bite, frog bite! Look at... Look at the poppin' perch. Look at the poppin' perch. Gone. What a day! Look at that one. Best looking bass I've ever seen in my lifetime. Yep. Well, you have strummed them today. Huh? Strummed <laughs> them. Uh-uh. Go on with it, kid. I'm going to end it with a bang. Come to Papa. So good. Look how that bass is built. That is not normal. No, he's that like... That is not normal. Show his Look at that bass. <laughs> It's three pounds and ten and a half inches long. My man, I'm with the brain. Did I just come every direction? That is so great. That is so great. Oh.